All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Who this world refers to is Jesus Christ, Bahasham. Is in the name Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Also, shall to the 144,000 men that's labored in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And shall along to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and the sincerity. Shall along. It's your brother Kodash coming back here from the uh, GMS West Palm. And title of this video, Lord Willem. Uh, since I did the uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter. Uh, I just thought I'd follow it up with Wisdom of Solomon in the third chapter as well because Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter, you know, is going to uh, how the ungodly, how the wicked, uh, how they operate pretty much. How they operate, you know, uh, how they operate towards us, you know, and all their, uh, all their inside thoughts, you know, what they want to try to do to us, you know, to try to prove. You know, if we are the truth, uh, if, if we are the sons of God, you know, put us through that test, you know, which is ultimately, you know, uh, uh, the Lord using Satan, you know, through through the wicked. OK, but what is the most solid in the third chapter that goes into the balance, you know, the. Uh, the fact that the Lord is going to uh, protect his elect. All right. In the end of the uh, in the end of the wicked, you know, it's going to be destruction. All right. So I'm going to read the uh, third chapter here, and I'll pull a few precepts as I go. And uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse one. It says, "But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them." So that uh, the the Lord is going to protect His elect. All right, plain and simple. And uh, made me think of this scripture here. And, um, uh, what is it? Six troubles. Con, this is Job chapter five, verse nineteen. It says, "He shall deliver thee of six troubles." Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Okay, so in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, the Lord is going to preserve his elect. Okay, and in the seven, which is, which is the missiles, all right, you know, none of the missiles is going to destroy uh, the whole full elect. It says, verse 20, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Alright, so the elect is going to be taken care of. Uh, let me just read down to 23. It says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Okay, because the Lord is going to unleash, you know, wild beasts. Alright, different different beasts that we have never seen before the Lord is going to unleash that in the time of trouble okay but they're, they're going to be at peace with the elect it says for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee okay that's and that's uh Yahweh Bashmael Shah you know uh preserving and protecting his elect okay because the Lord he controls all things all right it says that uh the spirit of vengeance is going to be upon these different uh, wild beasts, okay, that the Lord is going to unleash, all right, or normal beasts that you see now, all right, the Lord is going to put a spirit of vengeance upon them, okay, but there's going to be peace towards his elect. Verse, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 2, it says, In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken from misery. You know, you know, when we serve the Lord, you know, uh, a man of the Lord may die, all right, or a man, or may get taken out in the time of uh, 
in the time of uh, trouble, all right, for the glory of the Lord, all right. But in the sight of our wives, you know, they it was taken away from misery. It says, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, all right, destroy it. They, uh, they ain't gonna see the kingdom. It says, but they are in peace. They're in the spiritual. Uh, they they gonna be in the spiritual realm. The spirit back unto the heavenly Father, and peace. It says, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. All right, because those that die in uh, in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, what's gonna happen? It says, uh, this is First Thessalonians four. see where I want to go this uh, first Thessalonians 4 starting at 15 says for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep so you're gonna have some that, that won't taste of death it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Amashiach shall shall rise first. You see, the dead in Amashiach is going to rise first. All right, so those that uh, that may be taken away, you know, for for uh, a short time, they they're going to be risen up first. You see, but those that don't understand the scriptures, all right, they view. They view it as utter destruction, you know. You know his end to be without honor. This is wisdom of Solomon three and five. It says, "And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for Himself." You know, showing them, you know that this is just a light affliction that we're going through. Huh? Having been a little chastised, huh? okay. Hey, the Lord could have done it could have done away with us completely okay you know but he uh he chose to preserve to pose to preserve us man all right he hasn't utterly forsaken the house of jacob man. all right because he he's left a small remnant that's going to return and serve him on this side all right verse six it says as gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. So having spiritual powers, right? Because we see sparks among the stubble, it's a uh, spark here, spark there. It's, it's real uh, sporadic and fast. All right, you know, and that's and those new bodies. That's how we're gonna be moving, man. All right, like bright burn out here. All right, it says in the time of their visitation, when the Lord returns, all right, and gives us a new body. It says they shall judge the nations. All right, going back to Revelations, the second chapter. To him that overcometh will I give power over the nations, right? It says, and have dominion over the people, and their Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall reign forever. All right, immortality, uh, immortality, uh, this kingdom to come, like it says in Daniel, the seventh chapter, 18th verse, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. And possess it forever, even forever and ever. All right, so we're going to possess the kingdom forever, man. Right? All right, verse 9 says, They that put their trust in him, speaking of Yahweh Shai, really Yahweh Bashem Shai, shall understand the truth. It says, And such as be faithful in love shall abide with them, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. All right, see, the Lord has care for his elect. All right, grace and mercy is to his saints. The saints are the Israelites. Okay, but hey, on this side, the Lord is only dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Verse 10 says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. All right. The ungodly, you know, you know, they, they completely uh, disregard uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. All right, neglect. All right, and if you're neglecting something, all right, that means you're pretty much forgetting about it, not taking care of. All right, not paying close attention to it. All right, and of course, Esau, even they're programmed 
all right, to neglect the Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, but two thirds of our people as well, all right. You know they've neglected, and ultimately they've been programmed as well. They've they've neglected the Heavenly Father, man. Right? All right, didn't think it was too important. All right, didn't pay close attention, you know, to the prophets. All right, didn't pay close attention to the scriptures itself, man. Right? All right, everybody has an opportunity, you know, to come back into the Heavenly Father, man. All right, because everybody has heard of this word. All right, once you've been heard of this word, you've been marked, man. All right, and it's up to you, you to, for you to do the research, man. All right? Because you can't hold somebody's hand. This nigga is through, man. We're riding a scooter down the street, paying a second to see his ass, man. Man, that's two-thirds of our people right there, man. This is uh, verse 11. It says, For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, their labor is unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. All right? All vain uh, vain works. All right? You're, you're doing things for a temporary kingdom, man. All right? Because you don't have no hope. Your, hope. your hope is vain. Your hope is meaningless. All right? Because you're hoping in America to, to last another thousands of years, man. All right? For your children's children to grow up and uh and uh and, and carry a legacy man okay hoping for that american dream the dollar the dollar gonna collapse and america is gonna be destroyed man so your hope is vain man all right your hope is meaningless it says their labor is unfruitful man all right because this society is going to be destroyed so all the laborers is no real there's no real uh value to the laborers that you're doing all right, because it's not like you're sowing unto the spirit. You're sowing unto the flesh. All right, you're trying to reap generational wealth, man. Okay? It says, and their works unprofitable. It says, their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Okay? In a, in a, uh, they're in the mind frame of Joel's wife. You know, curse the most high and die. All right? Because, hey, their man is not leading them. All right? So their wives are going to be foolish as well, all right? Irresponsible, all right? Destroying the house. It says their children wicked because you're not training up a child in a way that he should go. If you're not training up a child in the way of the scriptures, all right? If you're not training up your son or daughter in the way of the scriptures, you're leading them uh, unto destruction, man. It says their offspring is cursed Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which have not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. All right. So you have certain women that may be, that may not have, not be able to have children right now. All right. And have not committed adultery. Hey, the Lord's going to bless you. All right. In the, in, the, in, the, in the kingdom of heaven. All right. You're going to have many children, man. It says, and blessed is the eunuch. Which with, which with his hands have wrought no no iniquity, nor imagining wicked things against the Most High, for unto him shall be given the special gift of faith, and an inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. All right, because a eunuch, you know, uh, is somebody that's, that that has been castrated, you know, uh, no testicles. Okay, and. Hey, the Lord's going to deliver men like that as well. All right? And give them, uh, bless them in the kingdom of heaven, a new body. All right? They're able to have children. All right? But more importantly, all right, the best gift, man, being uh, in the temple of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right? It says, and an inheritance in the temple of the Lord, man. All right? Because salvation, all right, that's, that's, that's the end goal, man. Verse 15 says, for glorious is the fruit of of good labors and the root of wisdom shall never fall away all right wisdom is going to is going to prolong forever man all right because these laws that's just commandments they endure forever and these laws that's commandments is wisdom it says this is brook 4 and 1 this is the book of the commandments of the most high and the law that endure forever the law is wisdom it says and all that keep it shall come to life 
but such as leave it shall die. All right, that's why when you when you skate away from the law, statutes, commandments, all right, when you fall away from this truth, all right, you're back in the congregation of the dead. All right. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 15 says, For glorious is the fruit of good laborers, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. You see, the root of wisdom. All right. It says, verse 16, As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. It says, In the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. All right. You know, and, uh, and that you, you see that a lot in Babylon, man, especially amongst these celebrities, you know, whether it's true or not with, with uh, Andrew Wiggins. All right. You know, his wife cheated on him. And now he found out that all his children, none of his children are his. You know, I forgot how much he had, maybe like three or four. None of his children are his, man. You know, that's complete wickedness, man. All right. It says they shall be rooted out. And we go to the next chapter, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 6. It says, For children, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 6, for children begotten of unlawful beds, all right, com or children from born from adultery, are witnesses of wickedness against their parents and their child. You see, so that's wickedness, man. All right, and they're going to be rooted out, man. All right, because that's that's really that. that you're producing a, a, a wicked son or daughter, man. And even jumping up to verse 5, it says, The imperfect branches shall be broken off, their un, their fruit unprofitable, not, not ripe to eat, yea, meat for nothing. You see? Verse 16 again, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 16, As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. And the seed of the of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. All right, so that's wickedness, man. All right, and, they, and they're going to be put to death. All right, uh, and, and at the Lord's time. Verse 17 says, For though they live long, yet shall they be not, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. All right, it says, or if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day, in the day of trial. Hey, so there's no hope for a child that's born of adultery, man. All right, that's that's like a two third, man. All right, it says, for horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, man. All right, and we're in the, and we're in this generation now. All right, the generation of the unrighteous, man. So it says wicked and adult generation. This is uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 4. It says, A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonah, and he left and departed. All right? Wicked and adulterous generation, man. And that's the generation that we're living in now. All right? And this is the last generation, man. All right? No prophet, no sign, but the prophet of Jonah. You you see the prophets out out on the highways and byways, man. All right, prophesying in the belly of the beast, man, which is America. All right. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm gonna close with that and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. The bonders to the apostles and others of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson I say shalom and the Baba Ball shalom.